All right, Earthlings, you know how we do it here. Before we do the big reveal, magrika muna tayo from Palawi Island to Don Sol. 10. Palawi Island in Cagayan Valley. 9. Apo Island in Negros Oriental. 8. Suyak Island in Negros Occidental. 7. Batanes. 6. Shergao. 5. Boho Aloginsan in Cebu. 4. Tubataha Reef in Palawan. 3. Masungi Geo Reserve in Rizal. And 2. Don Sol in Sorsogon. And at number one, ang nanguna ang pinakapatok na ecotourism spot in the Philippines is Danhugan Island. Situated off the southwestern coast of Negros Occidental is Danhugan Island, a lush 43-acre island and protected sanctuary full of marine and terrestrial life. Danhugan is a very beautiful island. It's privately owned, but it's uh, run by an NGO. And so they have, they have fascinating and exciting experiences for people who sign up for their tours and their training, but they're basically into environmental education. It's not your traditional tourism destination that you can just come in anytime. They're not open like that. Uh, it was now transformed into a sanctuary where scientists can conduct research, you can visit and attend workshops, and it's the perfect spot to do this. Here, it's the most condu conducive place because everything's there. You can swim, you can snorkel, you can dive, you have bird watching. Pa. It's a perfect place because you can learn and then you can immediately apply and understand understand what you're studying because you're there, you're immersed there. Danhugan Island is a project of the Philippine Reef and Rainforest Conservation Foundation Incorporated. They do allow tourists but must be pre-arranged as they have a very limited capacity for visitors. Must check it out. You really have to make uh, prior bookings and you have to sign up for these training programs to be able to experience the island. But it's really well managed. One thing I like about the new gun is that they really adhere to the principles of conservation. That's their priority. It's not so much earning money, but really preserving the island. Because that they know if there's a lot of tourists or the boom of tourists because it's a really beautiful island, it might get destroyed or it might get degraded, the impact. As an ecotourism destination, Danhugan Island hopes to bring us closer to Mother Nature and nurture our passion for ecological advocacy. You have marine youth camp, environmental youth camps, bird watching programs, workshops, and the policies, the environmental officers, they're really doing a great job in raising awareness on the new gun. There are programs, for example, for let's say conservation photography. Someone will give a talk about conservation. During that talk, they will impart na, you know, conservation knowledge, welfare of our oceans, you know, uh, wetlands, and so on. So it all becomes very organic. They have the, the five lagoons and all the beaches, and you could do island hopping around the new gun. I guess the best thing about it is the community, that you really feel that sense of community in the place, in the tourism destination. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our top 10 on Pinaka. But na ecotourism spots in the Philippines. Make sure you visit each and every single one, and of course, bring the kids. Many thanks, of course, to our wonderful guest panelistas. Thank you so much for your contributions. This has been your host, Revilson Fernandez. Like us, add us up. We are all over social media. We're very active on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Let us know what you think. What do you want to watch next? Next week, get your pens and notepads handy as we continue listing down the top 10 of anything and everything that's eco-friendly. Dito lang sa paboritong listan ng bayan ang nag-iisang ang pinaka. Mm.